Okay, over here we've got the grease heating. Uh, right now we are going to over here we are going to start the Indian fry bread. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flour my hands out. Okay, I'm going to take this. Okay, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. It's got a fair amount of elasticity to it. Um, make it like a pizza. All right. Fire up my hand again a little bit. Okay. Now, when you get good, you can make these round. Um, my wife will be doing this. Um, presently, she's busy. So, I told her I would do this. The show must go on. And, uh, so, we're not going to make these so giant. Okay. There we go. There's about what we're going to have here. Lay down. Okay, so we're going to put that right over here on the plate with the napkin. Okay, now we're going to do another one. Gonna, you want to kind of dust your hands. Okay, pinch off a pinch. All right, we will be doing a video showing you all the details on how to do these. And uh, they're not hard. Um, okay. And so just kind of get it spread out. All right. Since we're not going to make these real big, um, that's probably about a good size. We're going to make. Navajo tacos. That, that's what we're making tonight with these. Okay? By themselves, it's just Indian fry bread. Uh, when you top them, it becomes a Navajo taco, which is similar to a tostada. Okay? So, now that you've seen that part of it, I'm limited on my time, so I'm going to have to See, and I'm putting them right here. All right. You can see the grease is getting hot. You want that grease almost smoking hot. Slightly or slightly smoking hot. And depending on how sticky it is, okay, you want to kind of roll it in the flour so that it doesn't stick to your hands. This one eliminate the stick, okay, where it sticks to your hands. And just kind of work it. Flour that hand. Flour that hand. All right, get it stretched out a bit. Okay, we're gonna make what's Navajo tacos. This is Indian fry bread alone, as it as itself. But uh, it'll become the Navajo taco when we put the the toppings on it. Okay, the weight of this will cause it to stretch on its own, and. Uh, you know, so maybe I should use that. Here, kind of stretch it out a little more. Okay. Bam. Okay. A little more flour. Okay. Dust your hands a little bit. Take you out a nice little clump. Or more than this. Okay, we're going to put a little piece of dough in there, see how it's going to bear. Oh yeah, that's bubbling really good. It's bubbling really nice. Alright. Okay, here we go. Now I made this thick. This is thick, everybody. Alright. Now we let that boil here for a few minutes, kind of like a deep frying it. 
kind of the same principle. Okay, let's get this. See if it's ready to flip. Not quite. But I made that real thick. The rest of these are really thin. Okay. And uh, I don't think that was up. The grease is hot enough yet. Because um, it should be golden brown right now. And it's just barely starting to turn a little golden brown in spots. So that grease needs to be considerably hotter. Okay. And uh, we'll test, we'll show you the next one here in a second. I turn the fire up on this. And uh, this is a test just to find out, look how thick this is. That's almost like an apple fritter, it's so big. Hey, there you go, you could use these for apple fritters. Except for the dough is a little different. This is my wife's channel. She's uh, unable to do this tonight, so I am doing this, staying on track, and uh, putting out the first video here on You've Heard It Here First, coming to you live, smell -o vision TV, the future of television. One day in the future, somehow, they're going to make a device that will enable you to smell what it is the person's cooking. Kind of like, you know, back during the day of the Dick Tracy cartoons, um, when some of you can remember, they had, the, they had the telephone watch. Remember the unbelievable telephone watch on the Dick Tracy cartoon? Uh, you know they now have that available for the general public. But that's been, what, 40 years? So will it be in another 40 years and we'll have smell -o vision TV? Well, we, you, we're the first ones here. Television, smell -o vision TV. We coined it. Alright, that's looking like it's just about done, actually. It's getting nice and golden brown. Alright, I'm going to give you a an up close and personal view. Okay. And that's looking pretty good. Alright. So now we're going to drain it. And look how thick this is. This is thick all the way through and through. Each side. Okay. Look at this. This is thick. That's the, that's the ticket right there, folks. Smell-o-vision. TV only if you could smell it. Alright, now. The day comes you will be able to smell it. Okay, now. How I like to do this, put on the paper towel. Flip it over on your hand. Okay. And then. Lay it out there. Now these are quite a bit thinner. Considerably thinner. Okay. There we go. Alright. Now that grease is getting hot. It's at that smoking point. Um, I'm not using a thermostat, or a thermostat. I'm not using a temperature gauge of any kind. But let's take a peek under here. Yeah, that's, that's starting to turn on the edges already. 
and uh, so we're just kind of maybe to, if you had a big deep fryer like a commercial deep fryer you could do this in a deep fryer that that would be interesting you could definitely speed up the process that's for sure Okay, we're going to turn these in to what's called Navajo Tacos. So stay tuned. Okay, as I'm, I'm just kind of pressing it down in there so that it was kind of cook it a little faster. Okay, cooking it through and through. Kind of like a deep fry. Although that side's not golden brown at all. Let's see how nice and bubbly this is. Whoops, I'm licking, dripping grease everywhere. You don't want to do that. Okay. This isn't television, this is smell a vision. Coming to you live from beautiful downtown, southern, sunny California. My wife coined this last night, and it's smell a uh, vision. That's what the that's capital A smell a uh, vision. Okay, there we go. That's got that has a, a light, a nice light golden brown color to it. Look at that. We will do another video on how these are made, the, the complete process from start to finish, mixing the flour and the ingredients together. Okay, I believe that's about done. Okay, as we drain these. If you don't have any of these tongs, you definitely need to want to get some because it's going to make your job doing this a lot easier. Big time easier. Alright, and then we're putting paper towels between the layers. Okay, and as you see here, there's paper towels between the layers. And you make them. Alright. So I'm going to take this. Flip it over on my hand. Pull the paper off. Then I'm going to grab it by the corners. And then lay it down. Just like that. Oh, you didn't see that at all. That was bad on bad form on my part. You didn't see nothing I just did. We'll catch the next one. That's for sure. Okay. The, the cook is in the house. The cook is in the house. Everybody, I say I am not the cook. I can cook, but I'm not the cook. All right. There you go. You can just kind of lay it across the pan like that. And now we can see it up close and personal doing its thing. Oh, I'm, I made one that I put garlic in and mm -hmm. some pepper. Mm -hmm. And uh, figured we'd taste it and check it out. And this has a little cheese right here. This was my little test with cheese in it. And we're going to take this one with cheese right here. I'm going to put it in here. Bam! Jeez, it actually went down like it was deep frying. Look at that. Now it's floating. Is that when we flip it? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe so. 
we'll be coming to you live with smell vision TV. Sooner than later. The 21st century. It seems like your oil's too full. Um, it's up all the way. Yeah, it seems like it's pulled up. I don't know how. From maybe from these? Mm -hmm. From the dough? So we need to pause it in between? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just went over. I can, well, I'll cut, I can cut back that one portion, but bam. Okay, Navajo tacos, everybody. Now you can use refried beans or you can use pinto beans. Just depends what you want. Okay, we're spreading it on the Navajo taco. Now, so some of you going, I already know where you're going with this, Ken. It's just a basic taco. It's just a basic tostada. Unless you fold it in half. You could fold that in half. Cody, do you want onion? Yeah. Okay, bring me the onions from over there, please. Okay, putting a hamburger. That's just taco burger. A burger with taco you can do it seasoning. With chicken, you can do it with anything. Chicken, yeah, okay, yeah. But this is what we're using tonight. And this is. Do you want lettuce? This is what I understand to be an official Navajo taco. You Tomato. could fold this in half, or you could eat it flat like a tostada. The choice is yours. That's what makes these Indian. Cheese, right? Navajo tacos. So so universal because you can, you can fold it like you can a taco. Put sour cream, salsa. Oh yeah, that's what we're missing, some sour cream. We've got salsa. All right, well there it is, folks. Only thing we're missing is the lettuce. He doesn't like the but, lettuce. Um, he doesn't like salad. <laughs> this guy right here don't like salad. <laughs> the dead pool, pool, whatever you want to call it. All right, folks. Only thing we're missing is salsa. Sour cream if you like it. And lettuce. Okay, you want to end the show? Yeah, well, bye everybody out there in YouTube land. Hope you like Indian fry bread. Navajo tacos. And stay tuned for more. Smell it like it is. No. <laughs> stay tuned for more. smell a vision smell a vision TV. TV. Like, subscribe, share. Put in a playlist I forgot my beans. and tell your friends. Bye for now. For and God bless. And never give up because there's always a way. Always.